Greetings, friends and future friends, especially to those guitar players out there. Greetings. As a guitar player myself, I've always tried to make myself a better player. And how do you do that? Well, you take these diagrams and charts and everything, and you try and transform them into something on the fretboard, trying to make sense of it. Well, over the years, I've come up with ideas with all these charts to create this thing, a tool, a game, whatever you want to call it. And with this thing, you can take and transpose all these scales in different modes and actually visualize them on the fretboard. It's going to help you out with that. Now, if this is the first time you're watching this video, the link will be below to this thing called the Guitar Scale Transposer. If you already have the link, just click on it. It's an HTML5. You can view it in your browser. When you click on that link, it's going to bring you to this site. This is an itch.io site. This is the home page of the Guitar Scale Transposer. Now you're going to see a little bit of dialogue down here, tell you a little bit about what's going on, and then a button, support this tool. If you want to donate something, I'd greatly appreciate it. And another button called run this tool. Now it says learn your guitar scales the easy way. I don't know if it's going to be easy, but it's just another way that you can learn your scales. So let's go back up to the run tool and we'll open up this HTML5 file. Now that we have the scale transposer open, we can see that there's two things that we really want to look at. One, a 24 fret fretboard that has all the notes on it. And down here, indicators telling you what notes are in what scale. So if we go over here and we click on the A minor, we are now seeing that this is lit up. And when that lights up, it's telling you that this red dot is now the root note of A minor. And if we go over here to B Locrian, it's now lighting up the B and so forth. So what does this all mean? Minor. What this is doing is showing you every note, green dots and red dots, every note on that fretboard is an A minor. The red dots are the root notes. So you can play any note on that fretboard and that will be an A minor. Now, one thing, let's go back to reset. So all these notes are in A minor. One thing we have to realize is that these scales are relative to each other and that they're kind of a relationship that's mathematically related. So what that means is, is that A minor is B Locrian, C major, and so forth. So what does that mean? What you can do is calculate things in what scale that you're looking to play. Now for me, A minor is an easy scale to play. As a metal guy, we've been playing A minor for years. A minor and E minor. Even though I'm tuned down to C sharp on most of my guitars, I'm still playing an E minor scale. So when you're playing that A minor scale, it's evident that this is an A minor scale and all these dots are the A. And what's really cool is if you look here on the fifth fret, that one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four pattern, that's big minor pattern right there. Well, if somebody says, John, can you play this with maybe a G mixolydian? Well, let's go to G. Mixolydian. G mixolydian is the same notes. If you look on the fifth fret, that one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four pattern is still there. But now the root note is G. So if I play up in G, now if you look, this 1, 3, 5, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4 pattern is really a big sound for the Mixolydian sound is right there, but it's an A minor. So what does that mean? That means instead of learning all these scales, if you learn A minor, you've already learned how to play B Locrian, C major, D Dorian, and G Mixolydian, and so forth. So with this in mind, if you go to reset, let's look at this. What is A minor? Back. Minor. A minor, right there on the fifth. But what if we take and we jack this up two frets? One, two. Now we're at B minor. B minor, and let's go right here to the seventh fret. And here's that one, 
124-134 pattern right there. But it's now gone up two frets because we're at B. But guess what? That's now an A. Mixolydian. So if I go back to the A, I'm playing B minor or C sharp D flat Locrian or D major. Major. D major, but it's still the same thing as B minor. Minor. So resetting this, this part of the scale transposer can help you to figure out what scales you want to play. If you're like me and you know A minor and say, Hey, John, can you play me an F, uh, no, pl play me a, a C Mixolydian. Well, I'll just go down here and go C Mixolydian, C. Mixolydian. And what is that? Minor. D minor. So what do I do? I come down here and I play the D minor on the 10th fret, and there's the D minor. One, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. D minor pattern. But what is it? If I go up there and bounce off this C, it's the same notes as it's in C. Mixolydian. Is the same notes as in D. Minor. So now what have you done? Instead of learning all these scales and all these patterns, all you have to do is learn one pattern, like a minor. Now I have a friend that's big into the Dorian scale. So Dorian. He loves Dorians. He's a jazz guy. So if I asked him to say, hey, play me a C Locrian, what would he have to do? Just go over to C. Okay, I'm at C. Locrian. And now guess what? That's a D sharp E flat. Dorian. Now he plays that Dorian in right here, because here is the 12th fret. Here's the E. So here's the E flat, D sharp. And one, two, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four pattern. There's that Dorian. If you go like this, round here like this, there's that Dorian pattern. And it's on D sharp, E flat. Is Dor the Dorian, because he's going to be playing the Dorian. So it's on that D sharp, E flat Dorian mode right there. But what really is that? Well, that's actually a... Phrygian. F Phrygian or a C. Locrian. Same thing. So how do you use the scale? This is what you can do with it. Let's go back to reset. So now if you know the A minor or whatever minor it's in or whatever scale you want to play. If I wanted to play an E Phrygian, I'd go E. Phrygian. And this is E Phrygian, but it's also the same notes. It's in A minor. So without getting redundant, you can figure this out. If you're going to play guitar, you're going to understand this. And it's going to make things a little bit easier. And you're going to notice that these minors and Dorians all fit together. If you look at the minor, go minor goes into the Locrian and so forth and so forth. So these... Minor. Right? Locrian. Major. Dorian. Phrygian. Lydian. Mixolydian. Are all scale modes. And they'll come up, and when you hit this, minor, it will light up and tell you that we're in an A minor and all those A's. And then over here, the two whammy bars are actually going to move the notes on the fretboard. Now, this is going to move these letters to the left, and this down here, this whammy bar here, is going to move these letters to the right. So if I want to go to B, I'm going to go, and there I am. I also put a clicker in here so that you can go, hey, you know what? Well, I, want, I want to go up five frets. So A minor, one, two, three, four, five, and they're D minor now. So you can do that. So that's how that works. Play with it a little bit. Reset now. A couple other things. If you get confused and you want to really know s some extra stuff that's involved with this, you can hit the question mark. On the right in the blue will take you back to the transposer hit that question mark again. If you go to the left on the red, how to use the guitar transposer, it's going to bring up this image. Root notes, scales are in the red. Complete scale notes are in the green. Note of the scale, right in that box. Whatever the note of that scale is, it's in that box. When green scale and root note is lim 
lit up. Over here, you move the notes left and right. Here's the restart down here, and there's help. Now, when you're done looking at this, if you're on a mobile device, just tap. If you're on a laptop or desktop, click, and it takes you right back to the scale transposer. Here, you can go to my webpage. This is outsidedarkness.com, and see my little skeletons, skulls. And if you want to go back, just back out. And what it's going to do is reload the page and you're back to the scale transposer. If you hit the question mark again, you can go right to here. Greetings, friends and future friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Reverend John Michaels. And again, you can back out of it. Brings you right back. So there you have it, the guitar scale transposer. I hope it helps you. Maybe you can figure out how to get all that information into your head and onto your fretboard. And maybe it'll make you a better player. So, as Reverend John Michaels always says, stay scary, my friends.